Oh, there's God another one. God dang it. Oh, I hate this. Oh, there's <laughs> so, It's a horse. Three acts. I have no idea how long this game is. Act one. Scene one. It's broken out even more. I'm Excuse presuming the scenes are pretty small. Probably. Hopefully. Um, it's, it's, did you have to like learn Latin game, at all? So. Um, oh, yeah. I have I know a, a, a tiny bit of Latin. I know post hoc, go prop to hoc. Any, anything that's Latin to me just sounds like lawyer speak. Yeah, that's that's what post hoc ergo prop talk is. It means after ah. this, therefore, because of this. Ah, okay. An old hound in a straw hat. Both have seen better days. This is. I like how it just highlights things I can interact with. Yeah, I mean, the, 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 this is a, um, a a nice change from Armor Crock, where nothing was, was listed as interactable. Right. Go back to this guy. Oh, it's 3D. That's crazy. What is this? Let's look them first. <laughs> Zoom in. Is this an Joseph. independent game then, or? I don't know who publishes it. I'm pretty dang sure it is, though. Because the, the art styles are feeling nice. I quite like it. Yeah. It kind of reminds me of... Did you ever see the Iron Giant? Of course I saw Iron Giant. Okay. <laughs> Iron Giant was awesome. Yeah. I see what you mean. I think it's just the time period, though, more than anything. Because, like, Iron Giant didn't have square clouds. No, certainly not. Since we're talking to Stan Lee. So we need to fix our car. Are we Conway? His name is Homer. Uh -huh. I like Homer. Oh, no, no, wait, wait, wait. Oh, Blue. We're choosing the dog's name. Blue. You like Blue? Blue. Okay, you're my boy, Blue. Can you Some hear jerky that, for Blue. Way. I can hear crickets. That's all oh, I can no, hear. Oh, that's okay, because my phone went off and I didn't know whether you could hear it. <laughs> Here's some jerky oh. for blue. <laughs> Homemade jerky. This is like in I'm Fallout. Good. I wish you could name your dog in Fallout, but you can't. Oh, yeah. His name, Dog Meat. In Fallout 4, it's still Dog Meat? Yeah. I was I was <laughs> going to call it, like, Fluffles or something, but I couldn't. Uh. I understand. Should we be reading these? I don't know. Maybe get some rest somewhere and uh, maybe have a drink. Then back at it, there's a valor in that rhythm. What does that mean? Well, that doesn't even make any... Okay, let's just go with it's, that. He's trying to be romantic. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> uh, what's your rhythm like, baby? <laughs> That's a bit too <laughs> come on-ish, isn't it? Yeah, yeah so I'm going to go with... Yeah. Listen, you business, and Blue yeah. would have been driving up and down 65 all night. Dogwood Drive is on the other side of... Well, to get there, you've got to take... The, oh, take the zero. Ha, ah, the route zero. The zero. Yeah. The zero is a tough route to find, but you can use my computer to look up the directions. You'll have to head down into the basement, and why? Ooh. And the circuit breaker <laughs> first. I'll be happy to have... <laughs> There's uh. any lights back up anyway. It's too damn quiet out here. I love how the adventure game logic... That dude's been sitting yeah. there in the dark for hours waiting for someone <laughs> to come and turn on his circuit breaker. Ooh, we got a free lamp. Hot damn. Oh, that okay. is incredible. Oh, okay, got a button now. So, basement of this place, I guess? I presume. Okay, the basement. <laughs> Jeez. Just, he's it's been like a freaking bomb for hours. shelter. Holy crap! It's not a basement. There's people down here. The basement people. <laughs> this is like a band name. Have you all seen a breaker box down here? Oh, wait, sorry. Uh, yeah, sure, that one. Oh, Emily. Oh, they're ignoring me. Did you hear something? Uh, no, sorry. I was looking at the rules again. What are they playing? It gets easier as you go. Look, you said you'll roll a five, right? That means you get to pick up your marker and move it anywhere on the map. So it's your turn now, right? Oh, uh, yes, I guess so. Where do you put that 20-sided die? I don't see it. Did you drop it? Uh, it should be easy enough to find. It glows in the dark. Nice. I'll take well, that off. Poof, good point. I wouldn't have thought of that. Well, I see it. 
Do you? I thought I saw some. Oh no. This is just a little Yeah, it's just a little what? weird sparks. Yeah. I can that's weird. Why do I do that? Uh so it's a computer down here theoretically. There we go. What's that? Ah, more stairs. Okay. All right, so we're gonna find it down here. Turn your light off again, maybe. These are the rules. One, no open flames near the gasoline. Two, no consumption of beer or spirits on the premises. Three, in case of some darkness, do not panic or relax. Count backwards from five. Four, strictly limit time spent in the basement to fewer than three minutes of every hour. That makes me a little suspicious. Hey. Good. Yeah. Game piece. The glowing D20. The number five is facing up. Okay. It's ours now. Can I continue down? No. I presume we have to go and give it back to them. Yeah, I don't know why though. So they'll fucking talk to us. Oh, they, oh wait. they skived off. They just left for some reason. Whatever, we'll turn the breaker on. Okay. Is there a computer? Whoa, okay. We're underneath things. Wait, I feel like I want to be down there for some reason. Oh no, you're on that rubble look. If you look behind yeah. all of that. Do so I want to... I don't think you can go anywhere. Okay. The, which is a weird thing. Yeah, what's the table? Anything? Nothing on the table. It's gonna be like a computer hidden I love how he hasn't made a... Oh, I guess I'll put it back. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. They fucked off. You should've... Oh, you should've took it back. I'm sorry. They fucked off. They I'm not, it's not mine. I didn't want to steal it. Where did they go? I love how Conway hasn't wondered that at all. Right? Okay. So they are... I don't see a computer. I feel like I need to go down somehow. Why, why a computer? Isn't that what we were doing? Like for a map? No, no, you put, you're turning isn't... the circuit break because I'm in the basement, but I'm presuming the computer's up there. That would make more sense. We're already stymied. That looks like a computer. Is that a computer? There you go, that's a computer. But I think you might have to talk to him first. Yeah. It's all well lit. You there, Joseph. My lantern broke or something. No, you, I, just, I just presume you don't need it. Really. Okay. Uh, let's see. I want to know about yeah. the people first. Yeah, those magical people. Computer's in the office. You're looking for Marquez. She knows her way around those roads. She'll get you to the zero. Password is... Oh, you idiot. Yeah, muscle memory. I know what you're talking about. It's like a, it's kind of long, like a short poem what? for a password. Oh my god. I'll figure it out. Then it's not a very good password, is it? God dang it. Right, uh, Joseph, hold I, I want to find out about them people. Ask him about the, the basement people. That wasn't an option. It was. It was the set. You, you had two options and you clicked the top one. Oh. I wasn't even looking. Oh, right, I think we'll, I th oh no, we've, we're never going to know that. <laughs> oh. well, I'm so good. Where did like, they go? They're going to follow us like throughout the game. They're going to be ahead of us somehow. Uh, Joseph. Joseph. Wheels slide loose, the stars drop away. I talk and listen to him talking. I'm going to go with the stars. Wait, wait, wait. We're kind of building a poem. Is it meant to be a famous poem? I don't think so. The moon throbs. Yeah. The lights whine. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna stick with this. Uh -huh. I've accepted. I wonder. I wonder if, if you could, could put any yeah. combination in. Okay, let's go. It's not a very go good to... password, is it? Ooh, wait, wait. games. I love how you get uh. multiple choice on this computer. Yeah, <laughs> this is a bit more advanced than my computer. Zero. Uh, want Marquez. Zero. Oh yeah. I think. Why Marquez though? Because she's gonna guide us or something. Head north. Do you remember this? I hope not. The ugly tree that's always on fire. That's a really good landmark. Why is it always on fire though? Because God. Out. <laughs> right. Perpetual heat, man. Okay, I loaded the old TV of mine into your truck. Why? I borrowed that thing from Weaver. Oh, it's a return to her. Okay. 
Got it. Let's go into the truck. Old Blue, get in the truck, Old Blue. I can talk to Old Blue. Give him the jerky. <laughs> Isn't respond. Let's give him the treat, yeah. Yeah. That's gonna have, um, yeah, yeah. huge ramifications later on. Ira, interesting. This is actually some, like, character development I was not expecting. Hmm. It's like a magic gas station. Yeah, don't want to stay any longer with these creepy disappearing D&D players. No, wait, no, I didn't know those were options. I'm really confused as to where those guys were. Deeper into the bowels of the basement. Scene two? No. Equus oils. Oh, we can actually choose where to go. Oh, I clicked somewhere. Oh, God. Okay, um... So, address book? Help me? Yes, mark it, mark it, just mark it for me. Head northeast on 65 and turn left as soon as you see that ugly tree that's within fire. So you have to go back up on the main road. Yeah. Eh. Northeast on 65. So 65 is the so long route, so we have to keep it Is the on. tree just going to appear? Is oh, it just wait, way... wait. There it is. There it is, and then left. Uh, eh. Okay. Mammoth Cave Parkway. Mark has nice. Gone. This is really cool. At least it's also makes the world seem really good. At least it's like I missed where you have to. I wonder if you could have found it just by chance, like if it would have appeared if you hadn't actually gotten the address. Okay, let's. Uh, it's, it's a nice lamp. Let's just take this. Not, sorry, Blue. You're too slow. Stick to the code. You fell behind. This is too creepy. Yeah. I'm expecting oh, a graveyard. Lovely. It's a nice feature. A family graveyard is set off to the side of the house. Headstones are inscribed with the surnames of the unfortunate. Noah Kowalski. Well, Padla. And Marquez. Marquez, no. Unless there's two Marquezes, we could be hoes. One of them was Jewish, apparently. <laughs> oh, right, so it's surnames. I'm not thinking first names. For it opens of its own accord. I'm just gonna barge inside. <clears throat> hey, I'm just not- I'm not an intruder! I was just thinking what a lovely house we have. Do you like it? Have you been here before? Did you happen to see an owl? Um... I'm su right. I'm super confused. Why would she not be weirded out by the fact a random man just walked into a house? Yes. That is highly is it, suspicious. Is her, or is it her house? Is she looking for the owl in a random house? And That's a good point. Which raises more crazy questions. Lady. Why is she looking for an owl in a house? I'm gonna, just going to play nice with the crazy person. I like the large beams that run across the ceilings. I like to sit in the house and think of the hills and bluffs surrounding us. Like a... Like a cradle. There used to be another house here, but we had it destroyed and we built this one. It was very expensive and we got it... We got quite underwater. What do you do for work? Is it too difficult or do you like it very much? I was once a mathematician. Are you looking for something in particular here? Too many questions! Um, yeah, so... so <coughs> Already on this game, there seems to be no logic base at all. Yeah, um, I'm hoping it'll turn like supernatural or something. Yeah, because at the moment there's just no logic. There's everyone. I didn't know Joseph was supposed to be blind. Why did he maybe turn the lights on? That's crazy. Oh, Remember that's probably why Joseph. he couldn't get to the circuit, circuit breakers. I'm presuming mm. maybe if you asked him about the people underground, he probably didn't know who they were then. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that happens. Scary. 
Set the TV for you. Okay. I will set up your TV. Zoom in for the action shot. High octane TV plugging in. I like this music. Well, well the, where did I get? The go? art's really nice as well. I'm really liking it. That's not how it's supposed to look. You've made a mistake setting it up. Is it a foreign object to you? Which of your parents was it who wouldn't allow you to watch television? Uh, I'm gonna blame my dad. What? I know about that. He was. What is she on oh. about? She knows my father. Oh. Hmm. Dude, don't pick the second one. Don't fucking agree with this bitch. Things would just have to be a certain way. <laughs> You have it all backwards. I'm not surprised, are you? Have you been paying attention? I don't think you have. Screw you. It's time to start paying attention now, Conway. Look closely at the television. I don't like that she knows my name. Can I leave? Can I just get the duck out of Fodge? I don't wanna, I don't wanna look at it. I'm gonna get sucked in. I don't want my MTV. The TV's over to the right. Looking the wrong way. You're, you're looking the wrong, the wrong way. God dang it. Okay. Reddit. Very crappily built barn. Hey. Hey, wake up. You spaced out for a minute there. Um. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what the picture on the TV is. I mean, that's what the barn is all I see. Yeah, just. There used to be tools and feed, then books. Now I think it's mostly spiders. The TV is picking up the wrong signal. My cousin Shannon would know more about it. She fixes TVs for a living. Well, she used to. I think the new models are giving her some trouble. So, I really just need to get to the Zero. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not convinced you should bother with the Zero. I'd much rather you find my cousin and fix my TV. What? I don't care what you'd rather. What? But I'll get you headed the right way. Side mission. So, it's pretty easy. Get back on the 65. The, um, so... It's funny because this reminds me in uh, Saturday Night Live, they have a reoccurring sketch called the, the Californians. And they make fun of Californians. And one of the things they do is they always love talking about how to take different freeways to get from point A to point B. It's like, so get on the 65 heading north, then take the first right after the artificial limb factory. From there, your arrival at the zero is basically inevitable. I love nice the, the, like, California. Oh my god. Specifically the LA Californians. So I'm presuming we have we we get a, an option here, so either fix the TV for her or just fuck off. So find her cousin. Or oh wait, where did way. she go? Yep, she disappeared too. Uh, I should have played this game on Halloween. She's gone. She's bloody gone, and her car is gone. Okay, at least that makes a little more sense. Why does, Con why does Conway not address any of these issues? <laughs> He's I, seen... Oh, it's the sink. Nah, nothing here. So I don't think this her was her house. While. Yeah, I think she was a ghost. In the static of the television. Yeah, is that what this game's meant to be, then? Is it meant to be kind of a, a creepy... I, I, I'm calling it now that, um, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a truck driver, and I'm kind of, like, revisiting the steps of something that happened to me. And, like, these people all died. Like, because Marquez had a grave in the graveyard. Yeah. So, and then the old blind man, and then what hey. the fuck? All of country. I'm going to assume these are the people from the basement. Oh, yeah. I love country. I like this. I don't like... I like bluegrass. I just... I've always... Um, I like golf Brooks. Golf Brooks is my favorite artist. I recognize the name. I don't know that uh, I know any specific if songs. If mine ever but... comes. Okay. Uh... Can I get right zero on ramp? Get back on the 65 headed north, then take the first right after the artificial impact threat. 
The oh. artificial limb factory. Yeah, I know, right? Is the factory artificial or are the limbs artificial? These horseshoes are interesting. Okay, first right after That's the factory. artificial. Go up. Okay, a creek lungs on the highway and then turns toward a dirty brick building. A grinding drone. That's uh, really suspicious. Um, artificial limb factory. Okay. Just, just no, I don't want to. I. I just want to get onto the. I just, I just want to get up the freeway, you guys. I don't want to read this sign over and over again. Okay, if I click up here, and then ha 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 ha, I tricked you. Okay. It was the first right, right? Uh, I believe. The first right. Okay, but the the, the branch the fruit ranges immediately. I don't know if I'm going to go up. Wait, wait, did you see that? Like the windy what? one. This one? Yeah. This is a creek. Oh, is that a creek? Yeah. Let's keep I'm gonna going. keep going this way. Yeah, fuck it, why not? Hopefully I encounter something not spooky. It's a dead end. Oh. Bacon Creek Road. Yeah, maybe we should go back. Maybe turn... That way? Yeah. Hey, on-ramp! Hardyville Road. Act one. I told you scene the scenes are fucking three. really small. Yeah, Elkhorn Valley. This game graphically reminds me of a Kickstarter of a game I saw where you were a little girl, um, and a dog rafting down like the Mississippi or something like that. I didn't end up backing it because it looked like a great game, but it looked incredibly sad. <laughs> like. It, the trailer just made me. The trailer alone just made me sad. It's like I cannot play this game. Wait, why am I not taking the truck? I thought this was a freeway on ramp. What is this? I'm so confused by this game. Shannon, this is the cousin, isn't it? Yes. We're we're ah. we playing as Shannon now. Oh. Um. It's two hundred dollars. Yeah, or, or any of them. Yeah, I, mean, or in all I don't have any context for any of these choices. Just click any of them, then. Uh, huh. I mean, we don't even, know, we don't even hear the other side, so we're not even getting any context. It sounds like she's moving out from a nasty relationship. Okay, all right. Okay. okay I'll talk to you tomorrow. I love you. That's maybe. I don't know. That was weird. No work tomorrow. Another ghost looking town. Hey, I'm oh I'm the stranger now. Excuse me, ma'am, I saw the light was on and I'm looking for the on ramp to Ooh, this one, yeah. Do you believe in ghosts? Well, let's see. I do believe a place can be haunted if that's what you mean. No, that's not what I mean. Well, okay, I've run across a few people who acted like ghosts, kind of there, kind of somewhere else. Me too. Oh yeah? Did, uh, is that what led you down here? Yes. So, I guess this place would be pretty important. Maybe I'm in the right place after all. Here's what it is. I drive deliveries for a shop called Lassets Antiques, and I'm out trying to finish this job. Um... We can deliver to the mine. Oh, uh, n no. I have a delivery for five Dogwood Drive, and I can't remember ever seeing that address before. Now I heard I need to take a highway called the Zero. So I met this young lady, name of Weaver Marquez, and she sent me this way, and so here I am. Uncommon kind of place for an on-ramp, but that's what it's been like so far anyway with... What? So, have you seen a movie... Have you seen a movie called Pee Wee Herman's Big Adventure? Yes, 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 yes. Pee Wee Herman. It's like, like, Large Marge sent me. <laughs> Large Marge has been dead for five years. <laughs> <laughs> so you saw her tonight. I know, Weaver. She was, she, she's my cousin. Also, I'm she's Shannon. dead. And this is the cousin to fix the TV. Oh, you're all the one. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, she tricked me. She tricked me into going to the cousin no matter what. Gosh dang it. That's right. Did she tell you that too? Of course she did. Weaver doesn't lie. One time when we were younger, she told me my dad had been in a terrible car wreck. 
There was crushed metal everywhere, and we'd be hearing it echo through the house for years. She said I was very upset from a trip. Sorry, very upset. Crying. And then my dad walked in the door, just come back from a trip to the junkyard collecting scrap metal to fashion into wind chimes. Oh, that's funny. I was angry, but she said it wasn't a joke. It wasn't a lie, and at the time I thought she meant it as a riddle or a puzzle. But Weaver's not a puzzle. She's a mystery. Um, <laughs> just completely ignore what she said. So maybe yeah. it is here. Cool in story, town, bro. <laughs> maybe it is. Well, I don't mind the company. I've got a business down here myself. I talked to Weaver earlier this evening too. Or anyway, she talked to me. It's hard to tell if she's listening sometimes. Weaver told me I had to come down here to the old Elkhorn mine. She said I'd find something I'd been looking for. What are you looking for? I'm not exactly sure. It's a glow in the dark D20. <laughs> Here you go. If I'd kept it, we could finish the game now. <laughs> it's not such a bad thing, you showing up now. All told, I'd rather not go down there alone. Your dog should stay up here, though. It's no place for a dog. This is an old mine. It runs pretty deep and tangled. If we're going to go down into it, find your on-ramp and whatever else. Why would there be an on-ramp in a mine? I know, right? We've got to keep our bearings. I don't want to get turned around. I've got... To some gear here to measure conductivity, frequency response, stuff like that. Maybe we can find a way to put a signal out ahead, do some analysis, and figure out what kind of what topology we're even, up against. What are they even talking about? This doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Actually, this is a good point. We were talking about The Flash earlier. The Flash had a really good example, like in episode two, where Cisco's like, um, oh, what did he say? He's like, your suit was throwing out some pretty crazy, um, God dang it, what was the word he used? Telemetry. You're through, yeah, your suit was throwing some pretty crazy telemetry. You're, you're, you look like you had a heart attack. Telemetry is just where you are, like your position. It has nothing to do with your bio. <laughs> it's, it's like, oh, man, oh well. Anyway, uh, topology, okay. That's it's the like, science Have you ever played a game called Dear Esther? I have, yes. We've talked about it before. You hate like, it, and I kind of like it. It, it, it seems to me like the, the dialogue in this game is very much similar to the dialogue in that game where they try to say stuff to sound insightful, but it actually doesn't well, make any fucking sense whatsoever. Both I games thought your dog was are... meant to stay outside. Uh, you need to tell your dog to stay outside. <laughs> oh, maybe he'll stay outside on his own? I don't know. Um, oh. Yeah, I mean, Dear Esther was about somebody who died. Yeah, but like he said, the the narrator said, like a ton of stuff that didn't make any sense whatsoever. Right, and that's the problem is because the, it's different each time you play it. Like some um, times you play through Dear Esther, it implies she died in a car crash. Sometimes it implies she died from like a drug overdose. Um, and I think that randomization makes it just not make it's sense. It's not even <laughs> stuff. It's not even stuff related to the story. He said one thing like, um, "I yeah. wonder if they marked." chapter and verses to the ground so they could walk the bible and inhabit its contradiction i was like that makes no sense that that literally mm. just is words that you've put together hoping that it means something sure there's no power the miners used to have to pay just to run the fans and the lights wow Wow. We need to find a coal script token to power the f everything. Can we power it up? Yes, we can! Everything's rationed, blah, blah, blah. Let's fit with the change in our pockets. Okay. Let's say... I want to do the, the Star Wars reference, like, uh, uh, we're fine, we're all fine here, oh, uh, thank you, the robot how are you? Thing. The robot chicken <laughs> thing. How are you? I, Who is this? <laughs> is, uh, you know, is, <laughs> let me just call Lord Vader. Hmm. <laughs> no, we, we have put a re reactor up there, but Oh I no, Vader's here. You don't... <laughs> so good. You can never have too many reactors. <laughs> Ooh, let's, uh... Home a deep tone into the mouthpiece. These are weird. Uh, no, don't blow. That's bad. Whistle, sure. Is that meant to be a whistle? I think so. Or the echo of a whistle. It's still going. Say anything that comes into my head. 
What did I have for breakfast today? What? Why are we even still messing with the PA? Lisette. Isn't that... Uh, she said tell me a story about something. She... I had breakfast with Lisette. Or oh, whatever, I don't... Uh, um... Um... Things are vibrating. Uh... I don't know. I feel like it's just still I can switch up this story. This reminds me of a game I backed called, um... Oh, what's the game called? I can't remember the name of the game at this moment. But basically, the, it's not really a game per se. You just kind of walk through this beautifully painted scene. And at certain points, you, it stops you and prompts you to like type in a thing. So by the end of the level, you've created like a poem about the place. Oh, and you can see other people's poems. Yeah, it's oh. kind of cool. I think it's called e Eulogy for a Dead World. Okay. Let's do it. One more test. Yes, we, we just need to know if the air is breathable. Or if it's too thin or too dense. I see. Just sit real close to the mouthpiece and breathe. I'll measure the resonance of your breath with oh, the air in the tunnels. It makes no sense. It's just science words. <laughs> <laughs> it makes a little bit of sense. I don't know if it's... You could, I don't think you could actually do that, though. I'm going to think about the road. These twists are so bizarre. Um, Let's go that one. Getting some pretty strong readings here. I think we're in good shape, but keep at it for a minute. That's hot meal. A bowl of steam. A peel of feedback and loose rocks engulfs me. That sounds like I could be dead. I thought of the wrong thing. I should have thought of the cold drink. Please tell me you can't actually die in this game. I would I be very surprised. Oh no. Okay, act one, scene four. How many scenes are there? I have no idea. There's three actors. Jesus, are you alright? What the hell? My name's not Jesus. Actually, my leg's stuck. Shit, okay, I'm gonna pull you out. We have to get you out of here. If I had said okay, would my leg not have been stuck? <laughs> it's all messed. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're man. We're man. <laughs> yeah. It's like improv. Whatever you say is fact. Just stand up careful. I'm right here. Don't worry. I've got you. That leg is in bad shape. Gosh dang it. No, it's not. Don't contradict me. Let's get you under the tram. There you go. Now let's see if this thing has power. Do I get to drive it like a motor wheelchair? That'd be cool. Auxiliary exits. Uh, what about that on-ramp? Let's get out of here. Let's just find the exit and figure out what to do from there. This is our first priority. So the controls are over on your side. Let's get moving. This is a cool thing. I want one of these for my like mansion and I'm rich. After I get all my sweet YouTube money, I'm gonna buy like a little tram that just powers me through the through the Oh, well, I think you need to turn it on. I turned it off. Ha! 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 I thought the controls were here. That's oh, okay. I see. I wonder if I can light off. A little sparks. That's cool. Oh my god, did you see that? Holy crap, go back. Whoa. Oh god, I got chills. There was a row of people standing looking at us. Right here. Oh, I don't see them. They were right here. They disappeared. God dang it. All my hair is standing up. Maybe it was those people out of the basement. There was more than three people. Turn the lights off again to see. Keep your eyes peeled for silhouettes. Oh, there's one. See? God, they're down. They're gone. Oh, there's God one. God dang it. Oh, I hate this. Oh, there's <laughs> it's a horse. Oh. And canoes. Oh. Like a scarecrow. It's like a freaking ukulele. Huh. Oh, my oh, God. Like, on the one hand, all I'm doing is clicking. On the other hand, I'm super they're invested and immersed. Okay, they're walking after me. Perfect. Excellent. They're on the... They're gathering now. What would happen if I just left the light on? Would this just have been a boring scene? Okay, they're all gathered. Right there, and I can't go anymore, and they're gone. Okay. Good, good, good. 
Carry me out of here, Shannon. Okay. Uh, should we poke around down here a bit more first? No, let's go. Well, let's go! It's confusing because at no point does any of the characters address any of the weird stuff that's happening. It's really annoying. Yes. Yeah. Unless it's um, intended just for us to see, but then why... The whole point of an adventure game is that you live through them. That's the whole point. So anything you see, they can see. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I mean, on the one hand, them not addressing it kind of makes it creepier. It does, but it kind of takes away from what a point and click is meant to be. Maybe. I'm listening for something. I don't like this. Yeah. Oh, there's a birdcage. Was there a birdcage before? I don't think so. Canary 25. Tokens. Canary 25 tokens. Oh god, so like, if you wanted to go into the mines, you had to buy your own canary. Jeez, man. Yeah. It's a free bird. I want an, I'm gonna, I want a mine shaft emu. That'd be cool. I guess I'm just gonna keep cycling the lights. Make things appear in front of me. Nope. Okay. Let's leave it off for a bit. I feel like I should, the camera control should have shifted to Shannon. Because she went off into the mine. Tape reels. A pile of tape reels is jammed into the top of the tram. They must have been thrown on in a rush. The reels are unlabeled. The tape is decayed. Lisette and Ira's son Charlie talked about a piece of music he liked made with old decaying tapes. What was it called? Something about... Charlie had the most bizarre taste in music. Weird, noisy computer music. Where'd he even hear that stuff? Lou is that so, probably. So we'll something college. that's really annoying about this game is that they're trying desperately hard to put in exposition that matters. And all that happens is it's a load of useless garbage information that no one needs to know about. Maybe. I it's I weird. don't care about Lisette and her kid. What's that got to do with anything? I, I, I'm curious. I don't have a reason to be curious, but I am. The notebook at the top of the dusty stack is labeled well, in black marker. The maybe label that's is why we saw a horse. <laughs> yeah. Houses, maybe? Or verses, even? Crude and hurried handwriting, too. The set has immaculate handwriting, pristine and measured cursive, never a stray mark. For the last several months, she filled up the receipts for each order, since that young couple complained about their handwriting on the other slip. It's carbon paper, anyway. It's bound to wear away over time. If they're too, if they're so surprised, surprise, sur take two. If they're so precise about their records, they should put it on the computer anyway. So I'm wondering I can't whether tell if you're... something happened to that Lissette because he keeps on bringing her up. Yeah, something's got to have happened. To the exit. So long, Shannon. Good luck. Well, do you, is Shannon staying down in the mines? I don't know. She went back to go investigate some stuff. I didn't feel like waiting. <laughs> Just to see if she'd show up, because I didn't think she would. Hey, my dog's here. So I went in, in on the one ride. side and came out on... Oh, the hey, there she is. Hey, stranger. I didn't think you were Did you find her? Yeah, that's true, actually. Sure I was. Wouldn't I be? Why wouldn't I be? Because everyone just disappears. Yeah, that's, uh, everyone you, just keeps disappearing. Pretty much. Oh, did you find what you're looking for? We're not talking about that. Fine. So, actually, interesting. So, before that sequence of events just now, where um, I was turning the light off and on and seeing things on the tram, before that happened, I had the option of, res of saying something as Conway or as Shannon, and I chose Conway. I wonder if I chose Shannon, if I would have followed her into the mine and seen her scene instead of oh, instead of Conway scene. Oh, interesting. Yeah. I kind of wish we'd have done me. that now, because I'm, I'm guessing that would have been way more interesting. We know less about her, so yeah, it might have been. And we were, she wouldn't have just been sat 
on a tram looking at Discord. Turning a light off and on. <laughs> yeah, maybe there would have been ghosts. Thank <laughs> you.